Hello, this is Mark from I Am Organic Gardening and welcome to the second day of spring. It just stopped snowing about an hour ago and we received over a foot of snow once again. I am located in Zone 6B in the state of New Jersey. I was very lucky I did not lose any power this time. So we're going to go back into the grow room into my basement and we're going to go over heating mats today. So I'm going to go over why I use heating mats or germination mats and also what to look for when you buy it. Some advice before you purchase one. Now I want to show you a little bit of an example here. Now we have the fluorescent lights on the grow lights here and it's about 70 degrees right underneath the lights which is nice and warm, don't get me wrong. But you can see here the temperature here in the pot is only 63 degrees so it's not really heating up that pot. Yes it's nice and warm ambient temperature wise but the soil temperature is 63 degrees. So that's another thing that you should it's worth it but to buy a $10 thermometer or less and go out there and check your temperature of your seedling trays. I usually turn the heating mats on only for uh, a few things. One, if I want to germinate something very quickly, it doesn't matter what the seed is, I want to get it up and started and going. So I want to speed up that process, even onions. Now, normally you don't need to do that on all your seeds. Um, the only thing I really found that really works the best is when you use a heating mat or germination mat on your tomatoes, eggplants, and pepper seeds. And when I have the heating mat on, I always include a thermostat. There's several different types too. But you want one with a probe that can actually go inside the soil. This is what it is, inside the soil and take the temperature. So if for some reason you have your temperature of your room being very warm, the heating mat will turn off if that soil temperature is 70 degrees. So what do we look for when we want to purchase our heating mat? The first question you should uh, ask yourself, where am I going to be locating my seeds for germination or using these heating mats? Now the heating mat in front of us here will maintain the temperature, uh, the ambient temperature, whatever it is, let's say it's 60 degrees, it will maintain only between 10 and 20 degrees above that. The reason why is because it's only going to use, and it's rated here, 15 watts that it says on the on the uh, mat here. So we'll only do that in that area. Now this one does not have a thermostat you plug in and it's always on. Now you can use a thermostat like I showed before with that and then when your lights are on you're going to maybe get some more beneficial heat from that and do that. Now also the blue mat that I have here and I'll show you a decal of that and here's a label on the mat. You can see it's 120 volts and 150 watts. Now what you notice in that, that that was 150 watts. So now I have this mat located in my basement. Now it will get down to let's say uh, 50 degrees in my basement here. Now I can maintain that if I want to bring up the temperature with my thermostat that I have here up to let's say almost 80 degrees on that mat soil temperature wise. So that's why it's rated at 150 watts so I can increase the temperature range in that and go higher to maintain a certain temperature in the pots. Now I also have that same kind of blue mat out in my greenhouse, my portable greenhouses, and they're 300 watts. Again, I use a different thermostat on that, but again I can turn that up because say the temperature goes down to, it's not a heated greenhouse, let's say it goes down to freezing at night at 30 degrees and I have all my plants in there, I can raise that temperature up to at least maintain 70 or 75 degrees on those mats and they will uh, efficiently keep those uh, the soil temperatures in those pots from freezing and also maintaining at 70 degrees. So it all comes down to is how much watts it's rated in the mat equals how much heat it can put out. So that's what you're looking for. It's almost like uh, buying a heater for your house or your greenhouse or anything else either too. Uh, they use BTUs or British Thermal Units uh, based on how much heat it can put out. So obviously something that's 15 watts is going to be a lot less than something that's 150 watts or 300 watts. 
So have fun growing. They're all different price ranges. I am I really can't recommend anything because they change based on sales. But again, Amazon's out there. Uh, do a search on them and you see what the best deal is at that time if you're looking to buy and purchase a heating mat or a propagation mat for yourself. I want to thank you very much for watching today's video. We're a little bit tired out for playing in the snow and shoveling it. So we'll see you next time very soon. And go, oh, did I wake you up, puppy? Oh, it's okay, girl. So sorry. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, go back to sleep. Thank you. We'll see you real soon. Thanks. Oh, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Thanks.